I think at the core of environmentalism is a misconception of nature and a lot of other baggage. Um, I'm not, and so I, I would reiterate this. So I, I'm not saying there's no environmental problems. I'm not saying there's no pollution. I'm not saying it's a good thing that in some places rubbish and especially plastic is just poured into rivers which go to the sea. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's a, it's a good thing when we emit CFCs and soot into the air and, and it hurts a local area. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying Clean Air Act is a, is a bad thing. Um, so I'm saying environmentalism has to be understood as an ideolo uh, ideology. And we see the UK essentially cede power to the European Union. We see democratic parties, uh, well, see erstwhile democratic parties, hemorrhage vote uh, members. Well, the Conservative Party loses millions of voters, uh, of supporters, members. Uh, the Labour Party and Liberal, Dem Liberal Democrats equally. And I've spoken about the convergence of these political, the, these parties' political perspectives. And, and um, so, the, and this is the, the beginnings, this is, this is what underpins the process of, of what a lot of people have identified as globalism. It's a claim that the climate crisis is a claim that requires your obedience um, and, and you don't have to consent to it. Um, uh, and that there's a lot of thinking, you know, you need to unpack why someone is, is demanding your obedience on the basis of a, of a climate crisis. Because it might be that we do face a climate crisis, but it might be that even then, it's still worth burning fossil fuels for, for their benefits. You know, we, we need to do proper cost-benefit analysis and we need to ask, um, well, well, you know, an, an, an environmental, uh, you know, a form of government that's, that's organised around environmental principles might be far worse for us than, than democratic government, even if we make mistakes.